What is going on? How's it going? BPI and BPI audience. That's the best way to actually uh, to introduce everyone that's going to be watching this. I think that's the best way. How's it going? I'm Charles Botenstein, founder of BPI here in Midtown Manhattan. We have a little bit of a gloomy day out there. It looks like it's going to be raining. I'm um, going to be popping up to a new place that we're going to be putting on the market, helping them clean it out, photograph it. We'll probably put it on for this Sunday. Uh, but this is going to be a new series, and this series is going to be essentially. There's a lot of people that that ask the exact same question, which is, "How's the real estate market?" You know, they are either looking at pricing, they're looking to rent, they're looking to buy, they're looking to sell. So these are essentially just going to be. You kind of see this when you have the pulse on the market. You see this all the time. You you see trends, or you know, that could be a trend of a, a new app, or a trend of a new service, or a new website, or something like that. And this is essentially going to be. Thoughts, feelings, trends, forecast, just what I feel. It's gonna really change month to month. So the first one is the overhead of large companies. All right, so we already saw town residential fold earlier this year. It was kind of a shock to a lot of people. If I was a CEO of a large company, say Halstead, Brown, Howard, Stevens, Sotheby's, blah, 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 or even smaller firms like MNS, you know, there's just a, a massive amount of overhead. You know, the Chase downtown on 13th and Broadway, which is right below Union Square, I think they were paying $85,000 a month, okay? It's right there, it's a storefront, it's the corner, it's very busy. But when you think about that, $85,000 to what? But to give a service, they're actually moving to automation. They're moving to automation where you can take money out, you can write checks, you don't actually need a teller. And that's obviously in the banking industry, institutionally, as opposed to retail and things like that. But if you actually look at the overhead just for that, that space, $85,000, and then you multiply that by the amount of spaces, that's a massive amount of money. So large companies, that's very interesting to see as we move into three things. Number one is lower transactions, lower and lower transactions because there's not as many transactions. The market is slowed, you know, going into, it's been hot for the last five years. So it's not like the market is slowed where something's gonna happen. It's just slowed to a normal marketplace, okay? The second thing is the amount of commissions are down and the amount of competition is up. Obviously the two shows, you know, back in 2009 was on, uh, not Bravo, but one, one of the, one of those drama TV, HGTV, that's what it was. And then obviously million dollar listing. So that, that brought a slew of people over into the real estate marketplace. They thought that it was super easy. I get licensed, but da, da, da. you have a pulse. Here we go. Here's a loft downtown, $5 million, blah, blah, blah. So the first one is the overhead of large companies. That's something that I really have a keen sense on because I know how much it is to actually run a company. And these, these companies, they have way more overhead. They have IT, they have support staff, they have marketing. They just have all these overhead, regardless if you're producing or not, you still have to pay the overhead. The second thing is the well-oiled teams. Well, this is something that I really have a keen sense on is the, the well-oiled teams, which is essentially replicating the exact same experience, whether you're a seller five years ago or a seller in five years. In other words, the well-oiled machines, you take the listing, you do the exact same kind of marketing, you price it roughly the same. In other words, you put it right where it should go based on the comparables, you, you charge the same amount. In other words, when you buy a product on Amazon, you expect the exact same service every single time. It's consistent. It's gonna arrive in two days. I'm gonna get this confirmation email. Uh, it's gonna be in the same box. You're gonna have bubble wrap and you just, you just have an expectation of it. And that's essentially what I feel the consumer is going to expect in the real estate market. The large brokerages, honestly, for me, the large brokerages, I don't know, you know how much longer they're going to be around. I think it's going to come down roughly to the teams. And the teams is you have one leader and they essentially just say, this is your only role. You're going to put together the board package. You're going to do the outbound sales prospecting. You're going to do the inbound appointment setting. You're going to be going out on open houses and appointments and things like that. So the well-oiled teams are going to be taken over. I wrote down what agents will stop doing and the tasks that uh, they're not doing as well. So in other words, as we move into this very mobile friendly, mobile first uh, environment, the belly to belly, I want to find out if the belly to belly meetings are still happening. In other words, the agents, are they still going to be prospecting? Are the agents still going to be going out for outbound 
appointments and trying to convince someone not only to work with them, but to get a price improvement or to go to this open house or negotiating. I want to see how they actually react. That That's actually almost as important. There's a great book out there. Uh, the author, I'm going to totally butcher his name. I'm not actually going to try it, but he wrote a book called Sapiens. And then he wrote another book right after there called Homo Deus. I think that's the name of it, which is Homo Sapiens in the future. And he said the number one thing that you have to focus on, and Gary Keller has talked about this in his book called The Number One Thing, which is just time blocking and all of the resources and the, the attention that other companies and content and social media and email and bings and dings and uh, notifications are coming into your email or I'm sorry, into your phone is, are you gonna be able to block that all out? He said that's the number one thing, and that's what I wrote down here. How are agents gonna be able to respond to that? And the agents that actually time block, this is when I'm gonna make outbound phone calls, this is when I'm gonna to respond to emails. The, the agents that are disciplined are the ones that are gonna be succeeding because right now we have such a massive amount of agents in the marketplace right now. And then that actually goes into the last thing, which is not only mobile friendly, but the disciplined action to ensure that the consumer is actually getting the service that they want. So the consumer is expecting complete transparency. The consumer is expecting complete just expectations aligned. So in other words, if you say, I'm going to get a sale or I'm gonna get an offer within the first week if we price it here, if you don't get an offer in the first week, expectations are not aligned. Transparency is, this is exactly what I'm gonna do. And if you don't actually do that, the consumer is gonna say, wait, you told me you're gonna get a professional floor plan, you're gonna virtually stage, you're gonna have a two hour mega open house, you're gonna make calls around here, you're gonna paper the area with mailings and you're not doing that? That's, that's not aligning expectations, which goes back to obviously the well-oiled machines, well-oiled teams. So um, I would say two of them, yeah, actually you, you pretty much cover it all, which is what is the overhead of large companies? How is it gonna affect you know, going into a slower marketplace or I should say a normal marketplace? The teams will start taking over uh, and that's something to build out if you're an agent. And then the, the last two, which is more about what are the tasks you're gonna stop doing? What are the tasks you're gonna continue doing? And what are the tasks you're gonna start doing? You know, the, the start, stop, and continue is something that I always think about all the time, which is what's actually bringing in business? What's actually helping the consumer? What do I need to start, stop, and continue doing? And then the last thing is the discipline action in a mobile, 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 mobile arena when you have content. Gary Vaynerchuk is just, just slamming it into everyone's face that you have to be producing content, have to be producing content. It's good to produce content, but how many belly-to-belly -belly meetings are actually happen happening? How many sales calls are actually happening? How many, how many people are actually picking up the phone? I just got an email. I was talking with an owner yesterday. We had a, an open house. I think it was our fourth one, and I said, hey, listen, you know, there, these are the three options that we could do right now and we just virtually staged it. And essentially I said, listen, there, there hasn't been as many private showings as I wanted. The amount of people coming to the open house is clear that this one is, you know, not on everyone's favorite for maybe a multitude of reasons. You know, maybe there's too much competition. Maybe it's just a slower last couple of weeks. As I said, marketplace. But I get an email and this is, you know, I'm looking around here, my email is not up right now, but essentially one of the agents that brought his client by, he said, hey, listen, I want, before putting an offer, I'd love to give you a call. That's a good agent. That's an agent that we're on the listing side, that's a good buyer's agent where he said, listen, I wanna, I wanna over the phone, produce the terms, or actually just give you the terms, I'm gonna give you the price, I'm gonna give you everything, we can talk about it, before I actually put it into writing, okay? That's a really good agent. That's someone that, that understands the marketplace and obviously from, you know, they don't have green under their shoes, okay? They, they've hit the pavement, all right? So if you guys have any questions, leave in the comments below. We're gonna be going, every single month, we're gonna go over my, my thoughts and feelings of where the marketplace is going. Obviously, new services, new apps, Obviously, earlier this year, Town Residential going out of, out of business, and that was out of nowhere, though a very large CEO said that that's not gonna be the first one. I completely agree with her. And I would say, going into the winter of a, probably one of the slower winters going into a spring, how the, the actual inventory is gonna actually hold up. So, if you guys have any questions, leave in the comments below. Have an amazing day. Talk to you guys. Soon.